I'm at the Honda dealer, just by coincidence, but I thought I'd try out this Holtz tyre weld. I've got a slow puncher, um, I had it, there was uh, two nails in the tyre, I had them repaired with some uh, tyre stick it's called, which is where they just uh, poke a bit of rubber gunky stuff into the tyre and it should, it's designed to plug the um, hole made by the puncher. It hasn't worked very well. Um, there's a slow puncher on the car. So I've bought this tire weld and let's see how it works. Now let's read the instructions quickly. If possible, find and remove cause of puncher. Done that. If possible, move vehicle so puncher is at the bottom of the tire. I've done that. I marked the position on the tire with uh, some chalk and it's um, pointing downwards. Uh, screw the connector to the tyre valve. Twist red button to on and move to a safe position away from the passing traffic. Once can has fully emptied, twist red button to off and unscrew from the tyre valve. Drive immediately for at least 6 miles at a maximum speed off 50 miles an hour to seal puncher. Check and adjust tyre pressure as required. So let's give it a go. screwed on you can hear the air hissing out it's still coming out so maybe it's leaking anyway let's give this a go I'll have to put the camera down for a sec so you can see it's the red cap it says it's clockwise for on and any clockwise are off but it's got this sealed tag on there first I'll have to remove that difficult to do when you're holding the mobile phone in one hand. Anyway, got that off now. So let's turn that on. Again, I'll have to put the phone down. Now you can see the tube fill up with white stuff. It's a liquid. Um, Let's open the valve fully. Now the valve is fully open. The liquid is going in. Now this is only a 15 inch tyre. And it says this can is designed for a 17 inch tyres or above. So uh, I'll try and turn it off before. Now I've... You can see some foam leaving out, leaking out the nozzle there. Probably because the tyre already had pressure in it, so it's probably fighting against the pressure in the tyre. Maybe I should have emptied it first. You can see the uh, white liquid being pushed in by the pressurised air. I think it's almost done. So this um, liquid would probably find the puncher and then and then seal it when it um, hardens. It's still going in. The can has got lighter. Should be nearly done. I think that's enough, let's turn it off. So it, the can is empty, you can see it's 
stopped just a couple of bubbles left in there so let's uh, turn it off so I've turned it to the off position now let's unscrew it so now it says the can is empty it's, all, it's very light and uh, important drive immediately for at least six miles at a max speed of 50 miles an hour to seal puncher. So let's uh, drive home and then check the result when we get home. So I've just got home after driving about six, seven miles. It seems to be, uh, the tyre seems to be sustaining the pressure. So far it looks like the tyre weld has worked and I'll check again in 24 or 48 hours to see what the situation is but it looks pretty good. Probably there's a, a bit too much air pressure in there. Uh, when I go by the petrol station I'll, I'll check the uh, tyre pressure again but I think the um, the tyre weld itself has worked quite well. It's been two weeks, it hasn't lost any pressure at all so the tar world has worked.